to begin with gauss's law we actually take up the concept of coulomb's theorem so what was the theorem the theorem was that why you have a point charge here then the number of lines of force that is emerging from the charge should be enclosed what i call a solid angle and the solid angle here is what 4 pi now let us first check out that what stands for the solid angle say i have a sphere here and if i can try to draw a square in the top of the sphere i have to draw the lines like this i hope all of you understand that why the lines are like this because the surface is a curved one so now if i join the center from all these points then you can imagine that here comes a 3d angle which encloses this cone so this is almost like a 3d of a cone like this which this angle as the solid angle now the ratio for solid angle which is given as very simple for the surface area by the distance square so the surface area as you understand for a sphere is 4 pi r square and the distance is r square so that makes the solid angle as 4 pi so this is first to be understood that the solid angle calculation for solid angle as far as gauss's law is applicable is 4 pi now let us come to the next aspect of what coulomb was suggesting now coulomb was suggesting uh, something like this that when i have a charge here and the lines of force emerging from it are enclosed within a cone which have a solid angle of 4 pi then what he was suggesting is that the number of lines of force emerging from a unit charge is 4 pi by k where k is the dielectric similarly if the charge is q here then the lines of force should have been this now this helped him to actually derive an expression for intensity from the concept of lines of force well what was intensity intensity was the number of lines of force per unit area so you see what he was doing was for say we'll say for a dielectric medium of k he put it as q by the area which happened to be 4 pi r square now if i make this then you can see that this is the dielectric constant 1 by k and the value of intensity if i take it for air then this becomes 1 so you see in cgs system the intensity was q by r square so this was uh, the derivation of intensity that was done by coulomb uh in the situation when he was trying to make it now what was his next step was this that when he was trying to make an intensity he said that well if i have a plate here and if the lines of force are emerging like this then you see if i have a same area here and a same area there then the intensity here should be same as that of intensity there so he was trying to find out that intensity is basically q by a and so he just multiplied this two and he said that well that e and a is nothing but the value comes to q so now before getting on to this kind of steps we should understand one more thing i will come to that you see there is a bit step bit but let's see how we can do that it comes to the fact that when i am talking about this particular situation here what coulomb was doing was he was writing the form of e as this 4 pi by k q by r square now when we were putting this 4 pi by k q by r square there happened to be the area was struck off here 4 pi r square so he took it out as this as it was 4 pi q by r square as it was his area so now the intensity as he was calculating was found out to be same as for the lines of force remaining same to be here and there now this was what gauss changed now gauss changed it in a fashion where he said that well if i consider a close surface then it doesn't matter whether the area is same or not so gauss went on to write this 
that E D S, where D S was nothing but stands for area, but now he was doing with uh, SI system, so he put it as epsilon naught. So this was ultimately the form of Gauss's law, which was derived from Coulomb's formula for E into A Q by that thing of K. Now that part was to be found out by a correlation which was happened to be here k this was to be found out from a correlation between the cgs and the si system but that is not our lookout right now we should find out that from here gauss took it there and to understand this we need to understand that the we have to calculate the number of lines of force coming out from a point charge and then what we have to do we have to do simply that the lines of force divide them by area as the area is that of a solid surface so we consider it 4 pi r square so we have an intensity expression value for intensity and that was revised by gauss in this particular form so this is how gauss law was derived from what we called coulomb's theorem thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net